Hi guys, Australian and Little Monster here, pause up. Just here to quickly do a review for you for episode number 10 of American Horror Story Hotel, She Gets Revenge. Now this episode was pretty twisted. Like from the beginning, we had Liz, as twisted as she can body be, like, come on. Like, she's all over the shop as it is, wanting to like kill herself and not kill herself and kill herself and not like, Seriously, make up your mind, sister, to old grannies. Like, I thought, oh my god, that's sweet, they're going on a date at the contest, shooting each other in the brains, to somehow hotline bling bloody coming into the episode. I was like, what the? Really? Bitch! But anyway, on to the review now. Spoiler, 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 there are plenty of spoilers. So we first see Gaga coming to the episode with a lesbian kiss. Yes! Bitch! I was just like, oh my god, yes! Gaga. So, she has a lesbian kiss and sort of flirting with the girl that she, um, she met like a hundred years ago with like the Italian guy and they're like kissing and then they're like on the bed like throwing each other around. I'm like, oh, wow, raunchy system. It's like getting real animalistic. And I'm like, woo, this is getting spicy. But no, in the end, there's like cuts between Gaga and the girl and Donovan and the Italian guy and they're sort of like fighting and then Donovan shoots this guy in the face, like, so many times, like, giving him a whole new makeover. I was like, ooh, like, I don't want to see that shit. All the way to Gaga then, shooting the girl in the head, because she, like, pulls out a knife, and she's like, oh, I should have killed you, Sullen. I'm like, really, bitch? It's not the 1800s. We've got a bit further than bloody knives, you stupid idiot. And then Gaga just pulls out a gun, and it's just like, really? Now who's the little mouse or some shit? Like, then I'm like, yes, bitch, yes! It's so good. And that sounded like... And have vocal issues, but I don't. I have a very good vocal range. Anyway, so we then see Gaga later on when she is telling off Alex for not doing her bloody job. Stupid Alex decided to let half of Hollywood and LA, like, children go and eat people and spread that plague of, like, you live forever. And Gaga's like, you have one chance to fix this problem. And I'm just like, mm, yeah, bitch, do your job, honey. You've had one bloody job. But no, you had to let half of the elementary school kids and all of... California, go and start eating each other's neck. Like, seriously? Ugh. So, yeah, she assigns her that. And then Gaga and Will... Well, Will Drake, like, goes missing, and Gaga's in this, like, a brown suit, which I'm like, oh, honey, you're not 120 years old. Get that shit off and wear something more flattering. But, no, she looks quite elegant, but still, I was like, ugh. But, yeah, she's talking to the police, and she's like, oh, my husband disappeared after our wedding. And then Will Drake walks back, and he's like, hi, guys, I'm here. Bloody, the glitter rains. He's so gay. Like, every step, I feel like it's going, ah every step he takes, because he's so fucking gay. I mean, seriously, he is gay, 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 gay. And I'm just like, wow. And he comes in, he's like, do you want me to show you where I've been hiding? <laughs> and Gog's like, no, no, no. Um, you can go in our offices. And, like, he explains, oh, you want to kill me? And then she, like, threatens Will Drake's son, and he's just, like, acting all diverish about that shit. And I'm just like, oh, Will Drake, just go and stay in the bloody closet, you stupid bitch. And... Anyway, so that's all fixed up then. And then what happens is the freak with the bloody pencil eye moustache says, oh, I told you not to kill... No, that's not his voice. I told you not to kill him on the premises. And Gaga's just like, bite me. Yards, bitch! Bite me. Oh, if I had the chance, Gaga, I would. I mean, seriously, the Countess is so sassy with that line. I'm just like, yes! It's so bloody good. And then what happens after is her, uh, the Countess, and... Uh, la, 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 Donovan meet for a dinner, and then he's like, oh, you don't text your boyfriend or do you FaceTime? <laughs> and then Gaga goes and finds her Italian boyfriend, and, like, shots in his head, and she's like, oh my god! And at this stage, I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Girl, the cat is a boyfriend, you stupid bitch. And I'm just like, oh, Donovan, you bitch, you can die now. And then she goes back, and she's like, I think she's gonna, I thought she's gonna kill him, and she's like, oh, bloody, like, red-eyed, puffy eyed, like, oh, she looked like a bloody mess. She looked like me when Gaga comes on stage. I was like, ah! Yeah, she looked like hideous. And then she goes from wanting to kill him to like, oh, what a beautiful creature I've created. Oh, I'm so proud of you. And I'm just like, you twisted bitch. And then it ends, and then he's like going on, oh, I wanted to be set free. Bitch, go to the monster ball if you want to be set free. You will all be set free if you follow the glitter away. Did you not know anything, Donovan, this gay man? I mean, seriously, come on, get your shit together. And then um, it ends with Hotline Bling and Liz and Iris coming in with guns, shooting at who we presume is Candace. And I'm like, what the fuck is the cat is dead, the cat is dead, the cat is dead. Oh my god, the cat is gonna be dead. But according to the previews for next, well, next year's episode now, um, it doesn't look like she is, which is good. So I quickly just want to say a quick shout out as well to my friend Cat Loves Gaga, who's been supporting my channel. Pause up. Thank you so much for that. And I will see you in 2016, bitches, because that's it. It's Christmas and then New Year's Eve, and then we're going into what is gonna be the biggest year of Gaga ever. Yes! So Pause up, like, comment, and subscribe.